We have continuing coverage on the death of Samuel Sterling. A preliminary examination for the former trooper facing murder charges in the case just wrapped up about a half hour ago. The judge saying they need more time before deciding if the case will be bound over to circuit court. Our Julie Dunmire was at today's Pat court hearing. She joins us live now in Kentwood with reaction from Sterling's family and their attorney tonight, Julie. Yeah, Josh, that decision won't come from a judge here in Kentwood until August 22nd at around 3 o'clock, but I'll remind people a little bit more about what this case is about. In court today was retired Michigan State Police Sergeant Detective Brian Keeley. Keeley is charged with second-degree murder and involuntary manslaughter in connection to the death of Samuel Sterling. Sterling died back in April after he was hit by a vehicle that Keeley was driving, Sterling ultimately dying from his injuries. So here's a little bit more about what we learned in court today. So in court, we heard from multiple witnesses. Notably, all of them were law enforcement officers who were either at the scene or providing expert witnesses. We saw several body camera videos from different angles of the moment that Sterling was hit and killed, which also actually caused at least one person to leave the courtroom in tears, very upset. One sergeant's testimony who worked on the Metro Crime Pattern team said that they did have information that Sterling, Sterling could be armed and willing to run. But Sterling ultimately had no weapons found on him. Sterling's family was present all in the courtroom today alongside their civil attorney, Ben Johnson. They shared their thoughts with us outside the courtroom today. Here's more from them. Were you surprised by anything that you heard in court today? No, I wasn't. Um, I really wasn't. It's, I guess it's just a process. And I'm going to let God handle it because this is fight, not mine. Don't forget the testimony I'll hear today was from a Michigan State Police Trooper, an accident reconstructionist, Sergeant Avery, who, I, by the way, I've known for years, and, and he's testifying against someone that he works with. So he was up on that witness stand to talk about how this car intentionally was steered to the right and directly into Samuel. So the prosecution, again, making that argument that they have evidence from what's considered a sort of black box similar to that inside of the car that Keeley was driving that shows a negative 170 degree turn to the right uh, seconds around the time of impact. We were also learning today in court that the car was going about 15 miles an hour when it initially collided with Sterling. Again, we won't hear an official ruling from a judge until August 22nd, but we will, of course, be with you there every second of the way. And we've got a comprehensive web story up on our website right now. Fox17online.com about what happened in court today. Live in Kentwood, Julie Dunmeyer, Fox 17 News.